Hey YouTube, this is the Almighty N. The N stands for Nerd Holio. Guys, enjoy the content. All right, everybody. So this is my um, DM bag. This is what I keep all my, not all of it, but most of my DM stuff, little crafts and note things and, and stuff like that. Um, I am getting into drawing, uh, thanks to uh, WASD. Uh, you know, the map drawings that he does are amazing. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. All right, he is awesome. Okay, so here is my DM bag. First off, I got my dice. Um, got a, quite a bit of dice up in here. Um, always need D6s, that's why I have these just random D6s. And um, it's a bunch of dice. Some really nice ones, got some really bad ones. But um, always keep dice. Right here, Paizo Pawns. These are amazing i use these for my player characters this one and um i actually have another set that i use for monsters uh the monster ones are really cool um i haven't really got into it i am still fairly new to D, &D. um that that's something i need to tell everybody uh i've been playing DD for about two years now but um we took a year hiatus i played about six or seven games and then we took a hiatus. I personally have never played a game of D&D. &D. Um, I've always been Dungeon Master. I don't have nobody else to Dungeon Master. So that's always kind of been my, um, I wanna play one day. So hopefully one day, fingers crossed. Um, okay, so let's continue. So I got extra bags, brand new uh, dice. Um, these are cool. I'm gonna be doing a review um, shortly on like these dice that I got off Amazon. I got about, um, I think it was like 11 sets of dice. Two different packs, uh, one was $10 and one was $15. And I'm gonna do a review on both of them and which one was better, okay? So that's coming. I have all these for players, new ones, old ones. Um, always keep it. I have a lot of new people always coming into my game. Like this weekend we had a game and um, I had one new guy come in, and then the other guy that was here was second session, and then the other two people have been playing with me pretty much every game that I've ever played. So it's my son and my fiance. Um, I keep these, these are cool uh, post-its, um, just to write some notes and stick them on my DM screen, which I have right here. I'll show you guys that too. This. <laughs> Yeah, so this was just a box that somebody had gave me. I'm a Bronco fan. I'm a huge Bronco fan of uh, football. Um, I love my sports. And uh, they gave me this. And um, as you can see, it was a little cheap thing, but it's cool. And I keep uh, just these um, things in here. Uh, you never know when you're going to need them. Thumbtacks. And these are like kind of cool. They're like little rusted kind of look. Um, old looking. And then I got regular black ones. Um, uh, who was it? DM Info? No. Yeah, was it? I think it was DM Info. I grabbed these because of his video on uh, making your own uh, base sets uh, for these guys. Uh, but I ended up not needing them because uh, the Paizo's beginner box, um, the Pathfinder beginner box, if you do not have it as a DM um, and you're new, I highly recommend the beginner box. It is amazing, guys. All right, uh, color pencils, cheap color pencils. I got these at, uh, this is just for me though. I don't use these in my game. Um, like I said, I'm getting into map building, and uh, these are just the cheapest set that I found. I think I got them at the 99 cent store or something. Really cool though, I, I love coloring. So, um, these cards, uh, amazing, need them. Um, sorry, my handwriting's horrible, uh, but um, yeah, uh, grab yourself some index cards. Uh, you, I write a lot on my index cards. I do uh, magic weapons, uh, can uh, not can trips uh, scrolls everything um, on these and I give them to my players like that so they have a visual reference. Uh, my composition book, yeah, this is where I actually this is where the magic happens right here. Um, these are awesome. Grab them. I don't know if it's at every Target, but I got this one brand new, uh, empty, completely empty. Uh, Fifty cents at Target. Uh, I just seen them again the other day. I was gonna pick up a couple more, but. I was kind of like, this one's only halfway done and this one's brand new, so I don't really need more. But I probably am gonna go pick up a couple more. They had a yellow and a red one again. Um, I like red, red's my, one of my favorite colors. 
and um, I also like black. So uh, yeah, there's that. And then I got this off uh, Amazon also, uh, which was pretty cool. It's just a thing. I wish it went all the way across the borders, which was the only thing that was a real downside for me. This is one of my maps I drew. Uh, just a real basic dungeon. I just draw some. Um, I started there. I didn't finish that one. And this one's one of my next ones I was working on. So, uh, yeah, they're really cool to have. I, I really enjoy having this. Um, like I said, I just wish that it would go all the way to the end of the page. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you skimp out and you get the cheap ones. <laughs> um, dice bags, empty ones, because I put some of those. Um, these shouldn't be there. Um, I got my dry erase markers for my uh, board. I have all, oh, what do I have? Like purple, black, blue, green, red um, for my board. Uh, actually, I like I said, I'm still new to the game. So the one I have, uh, I got off the, the beginner box. Like I said, Paizo's beginner box, guys, Pathfinder. If you're a new DM, I highly recommend it. I am still a new DM and it is amazing. Okay, um, dry erase worked the best on it. Um, but technically you can use any marker, any marker on it, permanent, it's a little hard to get off, but permanent marker, dry erase are the best, and, uh, water, uh, dry, uh, wet erase, there you go. Uh, what else do I have? <laughs> yeah, so uh, a lot of people are probably gonna want to lynch me, uh, the deck of many things, right here, uh, we, uh, gave it to my, my new campaign. Uh, the first game of the session, which ended up really funny. It ended up really good for us. I took out some of the bad ones and um, yeah, we, we played with it and it, it was fun and they still have it. They pulled like four cards and everybody for the most part got pretty good cards. So th this was really cool. Um, if you're gonna use the deck of many, be careful and like pull out some of these cards cause they're really bad and will ruin your game. I had one player get really upset because he pulled some pretty bad ones. And everybody else pulled amazing ones. Exacto knife, well, not really, just a box cutter. I use that, I make my own tiles, um, DM info, amazing channel. Um, and uh, more post-it notes. I don't know why they're all pink. <laughs> they're yellow, I think I got some blue ones somewhere around here. And I also got mini ones too. So I know I have some blue ones in here, more dice. Like I said, I keep those for my players. I got some yellow ones, small ones. So these are smaller, some blue ones. I have a big blue one too. Uh, apparently not in my bag at the moment. And um, I keep rulers. I, I like to keep a couple rulers. Uh, nothing in particular, just if you ever need them, they're always good to have. And glue. Sharpener, <laughs> sharpeners, always awesome. So uh, let me pull out my, cause that's pretty much all I have in my bag. Like I said, a lot of pencils for all my players, pins and stuff for myself. And um, here's a Pathfinder box. I will review this later and show you guys what's inside. That's my character sheets. Always, always if you're a DM, carry character sheets. They are your best friend, okay? Always have a lot. Of character sheets. I have the all all sets of just I have spell ones somewhere in here. Sorry, it's my little son. Uh, we just had twins. So I have spell ones in here somewhere. But um yeah, character sheets carry a lot. So here is my uh, DM screen. 100% custom, um, I did it myself. This is a map I drew, uh, like I said, thanks to WASD. He was amazing and I really just watched his video and um, I learned a lot. So this is what my DM screen looks like. I, I did it custom, I want to keep it custom. And um, so I could just literally whatever I want in here is in here. So that's always cool to be able to, uh, let me move this camera. So it's always cool to be able to uh, just have your own custom stuff that you want in here. So, you know, like this was just uh, 
modifiers and stuff like that that I threw in here. I got I got monsters in here. Just simple, just stuff that was in a, probably the beginner box, I think it was. The beginner, was it? Not the beginner box. The starter set for fifth edition. Um, it was just uh, some of the stuff in there. And um, see zombies, it's cool. For first levels, these guys, all these things are really level threes, level twos, level one. Very easy to kill, very easy, but um, really cool to use in the beginning. So like I said, I get a lot of new players. So yeah, this was just something, I really like it because I can change it. I can put whatever I want inside and um, all the inside stuff, you know, I just use those clear plastic uh, sheets and that's how I, that's how I DM. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it down inside the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys come back for more. Thank you so much.